Yeah, I mean, it's amazing. Uh, you know, what Caitlin's been able to do um, in her short career so far has just been uh, nothing short of remarkable. Um, and, you know, the one thing that I really love about her, she loves the game. Um, you can tell she's put the work in. Um, and even, you know, throughout, you know, her short WNBA career, uh, it's been a lot of pressure, a lot of things thrown at her. And, uh, you know, she keeps showing up and keeps getting better every single game. So um, her future is, is super bright. And, uh, you know, being a veteran and being in this league for a long, long time, uh, you know, it, it's pretty cool to see that and, you know, going into the future. Nothing short of remarkable, says Diana Tarazi about Caitlin Clark following an Indiana Fever win over the Phoenix Mercury yesterday. Said in my comments that this was a win that they could build on. Shout out to you guys in the comments. I agree. This was a foundational win, but also what we saw was, as we spoke about before the game, a shift in the league-wide reception of Caitlin Clark, if not the perception, for sure, the reception of Caitlin Clark. Very, very positive is what we saw. Obviously, it's always been positive from the crowd. She got the crowd response. We all saw the big standing ovation after the game. But more importantly was the way that she was treated by Brittany Griner, down to Tarazi, and even the coach after the game, during the game even. It was beautiful to see. And we spoke about that shift coming even before the game even played out. We've seen that. They're trying to clean this up going into the All-Star game, and it's a beautiful thing to see for everybody involved. Shout out to the UConn family, as we spoke about on that previous video, that green light video. All right, I want to take a look at some film, just see some of the plays and how they worked out. All right, so this won't be a full-out film session, but let's just take a look at some of the clips from the game here and see how they play it out and what worked well. All right, Free, so you're going to see this a lot. Caitlin Clark bringing the ball up on the right side. Same thing that we saw at the end of last game when she passed ahead to Christy Wallace. She's already off screen in the corner, and... We see already Caitlin Clark has defensive attention far before she even reaches half court. Let's go on. All right. So we see Natasha Cloud was lost in the sauce, right? Caitlin Clark, she dribbles the ball past half court. She doesn't pass ahead. I talked about how that makes her a threat and how that draws defensive attention and opens up easier passes than even a pass ahead. Now, already we see Erica Wheeler on the other side. If she was an actual threat from out there, if that was a player who could shoot, Caitlin Clark can just whip it over there for an easy three because Natasha Cloud is already in the wrong spot with her attention on Caitlin Clark. All right, so we saw as soon as Leah Boston crossed half court, she targets Caitlin Clark's player, her defender, with the screen. We talked about that also earlier in the season. Not waiting until she gets down by the three-point line because Brittany Griner is in drop. She doesn't want to help. If you wait till she gets down there, now Brittany Griner can help and still be down where she wants to be. But she doesn't want to come out to deep waters. She doesn't want to come out there because she's stuck out there. She does come out there, right? So easy peasy. This is something that they could do at least once a half more than what they're doing. So when we talk about Caitlin Clark finding an extra four shots a game, this is something that you could just run twice randomly, just once per half. And that's two more shots a game that she could be doing this. And Camilla Cardoso, a lot of other centers are going to play it that exact same way. Rebecca Allen, 6 1 on this defense. If that's Kennedy Carter trying to get around this Aaliyah Boston screen, she has no chance. Or, you know, a 5 9, 5 10 player, no chance. All right, stop. Same thing here. Kaylin Clark coming up the right side. Chrissy Wallace already off screen, going into the corner. Let's take a look. All right, so we see the same exact thing here as soon as she crosses half court. Defensive attention on her. Kai Copper has eyes on her. I'm not sure who this blurry is right now while it's paused. She's already stepping up before she even crosses half court. Now, she's supposed to tag Leah Boston right here because Diana Tarazi already has corner commitment. Obviously, Brittany Griner isn't going to catch up. Rebecca Allen, she also should have tagged. Aaliyah Boston, but she's focused on Caitlin Clark and Nelissa Smith. So let's see what happens here. I mean, they both have eyes on the ball and literally just watch Aaliyah Boston run right past for a layup. That's what happens when Caitlin Clark makes herself a threat at half court. All right, so here we're going to see a pick and roll. We talked earlier on in the season about Aaliyah Boston being really slow out of these pick and roll situations. Well, here she gets her hips switched around really quick and makes a pretty decisive roll, in my opinion, at least. All 
All right, so now we're going to see pretty much that exact same situation. Let's see how this one plays out. Brittany Griner, as we see, in drop, not interested in helping. They're exploiting this all game. Katie Lou, get out of there with that post up. You're not getting it. All right, so this is the exact same thing that we saw last time, but instead, Brittany Griner's playing non committal, trying to steal the pass. She doesn't step all the way up on Caitlyn. She doesn't quite step all the way over to Brittany Griner. She's trying to play both sides, right? Caitlyn Clark doesn't allow her to by keeping her dribble alive. You have to commit to one of us. Brittany Griner commits to neither of them, so clear path to the rim. See, there's times where she would have dropped that pass right there. Dropped that same bounce pass that we saw in the previous play. Aaliyah Boston would have caught it. Brittany Reiner would have just slid over if she didn't steal the pass and been right in Aaliyah Boston's way. Maybe gotten to travel or something like that. Who knows? But in this case, Caitlin Clark just keeps the ball, makes the right decision. Now, that's a shot that should be able to find multiple times a game, every single game. It doesn't require a lot of scheming from the coaches. It doesn't require a lot of individual one-on-one -on -one greatness from her. That's just being opportunistic and spotting those chances within the flow of the game. So now let's take a look at some of the passes that she made. A lot of very sure bounce passes. She said, if you guys can't catch, I'll set these passes down so you can pick them up. And it worked beautifully. I saw at least three or four bounce passes for layups, maybe four or five kickouts for wide open three-pointers. Congratulations to the team for being able to knock those down. They actually have pretty regularly in these last few games. They've been hitting their open shots. So it was great to see. She got the franchise record and assists with 129 in this game. So beautifully done. Beautifully done, Caitlin Clark. Hopefully you guys can repeat a performance like this before the Olympic break. I'm satisfied. <laughs> I know there's a lot of tough games going in. As long as you guys play well. As long as you guys play well and show that you're not forgetting some of the lessons that you learned previously. Like the way that you guys were blitzing the Atlanta Dream and getting so many shot clock violations and then came out the very next game and just dropped off of Chicago and let them do whatever they wanted to do as far as dribbling and penetration goes. So just like to see them carry over these lessons from one game to the next. Obviously, every game isn't going to play out the same, but as long as they're showing constant progress, that's all we can really ask for. All right. I'm going to wrap this up here. I appreciate you guys spending your time with me. I know you can do anything with your time in the world, but you chose to watch this video. So I will never, ever not appreciate that. Check you guys out on the next one. Until then, peace.